Portland's camping ban is scheduled for a vote tomorrow by the city council and now a local group helping homeless Portlanders. They're speaking out ahead of the vote. And Fox 12's Adrian Thomas has more about why they're concerned that the bill might create some new problems. One of the groups we spoke with says they plan to be out in full force tomorrow here at City Hall to voice opposition to the camping ban ordinance vote. According to the city, the new ordinance falls in line with a newer state law which took effect in 2021, which regulates how a city can control camping in public areas. Mayor Ted Wheeler says he's optimistic about the ordinance, but local groups have concerns. According to Mayor Ted Wheeler, the city's ordinance would be phased in starting on July 1st. All camping would be banned between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. in virtually every public space, including sidewalks, parks, and near roads with frequent car accidents. The crisis clearly visible on the sidewalks next to Old Town's Blanchet House, a local group that serves meals and has other day use services available to those experiencing homelessness. Director Scott Kerman expects larger crowds once the ban goes into effect because of people who may have nowhere to go during the day. In response to the ban, Blanchet House is hoping the city can provide funding. We do expect there to be a lot of downstream effects. Um, as a result of this ordinance. You know, we could use financial assistance. Um, just keeping up with the day-to-day -day crises and, and everything else that has happened in our community since the spring of 2020 has uh, really increased all of our expenses. The city says unlawful campers would be given multiple warnings to move and then could be fined $100 or arrested. Sisters of the Road is another local homeless services group and is planning to voice their opposition to the camping ban ahead of the city council vote. One program manager saying the ban will do more harm than good. Criminalizing people who are experiencing homelessness uh, when there are no viable alternatives. Uh, it not only creates a lot of social stresses, but also economic stresses. That when the new ordinance was revealed last week, Mayor Ted Wheeler stressed he's open to other options that don't involve harsh penalties for people who refuse the camping ban. I will support any efforts to create alternatives to criminal sanctions for violations. Whether it's acceptance of service referrals, completion of community service, or restorative justice participation, I'm fully behind creating pathways out of the system for those who want help. For groups like Sisters of the Road, they say there are better solutions than a ban on camping. Create the measure of stability that they can have so that they have caseworkers who can meet them where they're at and actually directly house them from that space. And the vote on the camping ban ordinance is set for council's afternoon session beginning at 2 p.m. We'll bring that coverage to you then. In downtown Portland, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.